more organized. But uh, first of all, I'd like to thank uh, Christy Fender of uh, the Homewood Suites Hilton here. Um, she uh, set this all up and let us use this room uh, for the group. It was great. And um, she uh, just wanted to mention her in case anybody wants to uh, contact her for similar type of uh, facilities. And uh, my name is Mark Fabish. I'm with Broadreach Internet Marketing. I do a variety of uh, type of internet marketing services. And um, a little while ago, uh, several months ago, I, I went to, uh, got invited to a seminar that Johnny was holding on a weekend. It was an all-day social networking seminar. And uh, I went to it, and uh, it was really great. Uh, Johnny, he went through just a whole bunch of, in one day, tons of different types of, uh, you know, things and brought out a lot of uh, nice tricks and techniques uh, to use the social networks, all for the goal of making money. <laughs> And uh, instead of uh, looking at things and just playing on the social networks. And so I uh, got to know Johnny a little better and uh, um, just a little background. Uh, you may have read in his bio, he's uh, traveling around doing a lot of talks and has some of the highest awards from Toastmasters and so forth. And uh, so really happy that Johnny's able to come in and uh, give us a little overview today of internet marketing. All right. All right, thank you. Well, everyone, how's everyone doing? We better loosen up here. So everyone, give, give, give yourself a hand. Come on, let's give yourself a hand here. I'm not used to that. So we're gonna, there we go. That's a lot. There you go. Loosened up here. Does everyone have a handout now? Yes. Everyone has your handout here. All right. Well, what we're going to do today, and the time that we have, is we're going to explore the whole concept of social media. But more importantly, we're going to talk about how do you make money with this actual function here. A lot of times that I have been doing social media over the last several years here, I've observed a lot of trends and a lot of things occur. And the one thing that I really had an issue with more than anything else was no one was trying to monetize their activities. And the technology and the tools started to grow and evolve and people started to realize that business owners are not going to do this. They're not going to participate unless they have some way of monetizing their activities and being able to generate leads or create sales. So my whole intention and focus for the last two years has been to just focus on the monetization of the social media platforms. Now there are a lot of new websites out there, there's a lot of unusual websites out there that do all kinds of tricks and tips, but if they are not making money, what's the point? And so I started to realize that someone will say all of these different websites to me, and I'm like, have you made any money with it? And if you haven't made any money with it, then just hold off on telling it to me until you monetize it. Because the business owners that I know, which are from funeral directors to beauty salon workers to all types of banking industries want to know if we participate, how can we make money with it? Their brands have already been established in a lot of businesses because they spend a lot of money on branding. They're entering this space because their competitors there. And so they started to make this decision that they wanted to participate in a way that they can see some results. So that's kind of my background. I started to dedicate myself to this, but before that, I worked in insurance as a claims adjuster. I spent a little over 10 years as a claims adjuster, selling insurance and also as a claims adjuster. So I came into the business of marketing early on when you had just a yellow page and making cold calls. And that's how I began my career. And I started marketing the old fashioned hard way. And as things started to evolve and the internet started to grow, I started seeing greater ways to do it. Then I saw social media come along. And then I became a full time for the last 10 years, a full time speaker, last three years, internet marketing, but more importantly, social media. So I'm really a person that has come from the offline to social media, done a little bit of internet marketing, but found social media to be the best way to connect with customers who are used to offline marketing activities. So that's what we're going to do here, and I'll give you a handout to follow through this process. All right. We just get, and first thing on here, initially when Mark and I put this thing out here, we use this photograph of myself right here at first, when they first came, when we first started to promote this. And then Mark got some feedback on it. They said, why does he, why does he have his hand like that in that photograph like that? And I, and I simply put, because of this reason right here, I'm not here to be social. I'm here to do business. That's why I'm here. That's why people participate that are business owners in the social media space. They're there to do business. But I'm here to talk about my cat or my dog or goldfish or what I had to eat last night. I'm just here to talk about making sales and connecting with customers who are interested in talking about that. And you know, over this time period here, in my introduction, but I've, I've worked with a lot of big corporations 
that have an estimated $900 million in assets on social media, monetization of it. So I, that's the only reason they hired me. I'm a one-man operation, and the only reason they called me up is because they saw the results I was producing. I'm not on the internet like an internet guru that everyone knows. I'm someone that gets hired by real companies to go in and do the work for them and bring in a team to handle it. And that's what I've been doing around the country, is working behind the scenes with a lot of organizations that you wouldn't even think about. Like I said, the funeral industry, teaching them how to do it for themselves. So that's what I'm here to do, is give you those practical direction and advice on how to do it, and to give you examples and illustrations of it. As you already know, this is a quick, some couple facts, quick facts here about Facebook, being over 450 million members now. But the interesting thing is more that you know, people are spending 500 billion minutes per month on Facebook. It's the amount of time that they're spending on Facebook. Uh, there's even been studies in e-marketers that have done and done, gone and done a lot of research there and have identified kind of an order of events there. In e-marketers, they've identified like who spends the most time in Facebook. And they identified first Asian Americans, then they identified Caucasians, African Americans, and then Latinos. So they actually identified the trends in there. So Facebook is a powerful demographic marketing tool. And they started identifying just these trends here. You know, 25 billion people watching videos in uh, YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter, and of course, Dig. Has everyone in here know exactly what Dig does? Everyone know what they do? Well, if you don't know what Dig does, have you ever on your own computer bookmarked a page before that you really loved? If you've ever done that, that's what Dig is for you. It would be a place where you could online bookmark a service, and then others would go and find that particular bookmarking that you've made based on their interest. So if you have an interest in skateboarding or an interest in flowers or interest in anything, and you dig it and put it into Dig, other people will go there and they'll search. And they'll look and they'll see if, if there's anything of their interest in there that has already been found to be interesting by other people. You know, one of the things that I do now, one of the things that I do actually is this. For my own websites and for my own materials, I go ahead and dig my own materials because I like them. So I would ask everybody in the room, what do you think you should do to your own stuff? Dig it. Right. You, yeah, you should dig it. You know, because it's yours, you like it, there may be other people that like it. And so people go in to dig looking for content that people have already found value in. On our handout here, one of the things that people start talking about a lot is this whole thing about social media marketing and what it really is. And so what I started to do was to develop my own definition really of what social media marketing really is. And it's all about communicating a specific message to a specific group of people about a specific problem that they're dealing with. See, what happens inside of the social media world is that it's so wide, it's so vast, and there's so many noises and so many conversations going on, it's hard to connect. So what I started to realize was that I have to send out a lasered message to a specific person or a specific group of people with a specific message. So for example, if you were in a room, if it were, like we were in here, and everyone, when I walked in here, everybody's in here talking and having a conversation. If I would have stood up front and said, who would like a $100 bill? Certain people in the room would stop talking and they'd come over to me and say, yes, I would like a $100 bill. Because I have a specific message for a specific person who says, you know what, I'm a little short on cash right now. I could use a $100 bill with a specific problem. That's what you're doing inside of this. That's what social media is all about. It's a specific to a group of people. So you don't need everybody to listen. You only need a core group of people to listen. And so I started to realize that no matter what niche you're in, you really don't need 100,000 people on Twitter. You don't need thousands of people. You need 200 to maybe 300 loyal people who respond to your activities, who respond to what you have. That's how you start to build a business in the social space. It's great to have thousands in there, but what good are they if they don't respond to anything? And that's really kind of the hard and frank truth about social media is that you don't need everyone. You need those that are interested, those who are already interested in what you have. Now, <laughs> Some mistakes <laughs> that I see occurring frequently, and it's really it's, it's because of how social media really doesn't give you a roadmap. The social networks really don't say, "Here are the rules for the road." 